guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again, and welcome back to another monthly vlog. And it is spooky month. And because of that, expect some horror themed elements to this vlog. Um, first one I'm going to bring out is I'm going to be seeing a re-release of The Exorcist later today. So yeah, um, really looking forward to seeing the one of the greatest horror films of all time on the big screen. It's going to it's going to be really exciting, so, yeah. Um, I guess that's not really, I guess that's all I really got to say to start the vlog, but, anyways, enjoy what there is to come to this vlog. Also, before I forget, it's Bluey's fifth anniversary today. For real life? Yep, for real life. Happy fifth anniversary, girl. Nick, dear. Nectar. Let's stand over at my mom's place. And of course, we we'll forget about Nectar. Oh, well, oh, I knew he would have to show back up once in a while. I know you people miss him. Oh, yeah, he has a collar. It's a flea collar, so. Yeah, he's gonna look a lot better. Alright, so I've really been trying hard to figure out what exactly I should do for this month in terms of horror reviews, because I pretty much reviewed every single movie in the collection. Like, I reviewed all the Halloween movies, except Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, because I still refuse to watch that. Uh, let's see, I did The Grudge, um, I did, uh, I did, um, like, seriously, I've... I'm just trying really hard here because I don't want to do another re-review. Uh, last year I did all the Evil Dead movies. Um, the new one I did this year because... Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I may be running out. I could always just look up the... I'm like, I'm like, I could always just stream something and review it, but... Uh, physical media for the win. Just, uh, I don't know. I've been trying really hard because I just don't want to re-review another movie. I want to do a movie that I haven't done before. But I think I reviewed every horror movie in this collection. Just, uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be a horror movie. It can't be Halloween. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to, I got all month. I'll, I'll, still, I'll still figure it out. So I've really been trying to think of what horror movies I could review this month that I haven't reviewed before. Uh, well, there is one, and that's a movie that, uh, uh, it's the new Exorcist movie. But I'm not sure if that really counts since, well, since the new movie, obviously I haven't reviewed it before, but yeah. And I haven't been hearing the best of things about it, so, uh... Chances are it's not going to be off to a pretty good start. So I've still been looking, but in the meantime, I've been playing the original Paper, Mar Paper Mario on the N64 Switch emulator. Uh, I don't know. I could I could have waited a little bit closer to when the Paper Mario uh, Thousand Year Door remaster came out, but I just really wanted to play that game just for so long, and I've really been digging it. I'm already at the third chapter. There's like four more chapters left, so yeah, not really something that I need to do during Halloween. I mean, I will have more Halloween. I mean, October still just started, so, yeah. Alright, at the theater now, that's the Exorcist Believer, and I believe this is more than likely not going to end well. Alright, good news, bad news. Bad news is, Exorcist Believer sucked. Uh, that's a shame, because it's been a good year for horror franchise revivals. Good news, though, I lost five more pounds. And I'm just going to give you a sneak preview of what I've been using. Or one of the things that's been helping me besides the gym. This exercise bike right here has really been helping me out. Um, there was a smaller seat, but it was super uncomfortable. Um, this one is a little bit better. Um, but, yeah. yeah. This, I feel like, has been helping me out a lot more than the gym has, surprisingly. Mainly because I've burned more calories on here than ever. 
Like if I'm on here for an hour, I, I'm able to burn like 500 calories and I've been on here for an hour, like multiple, multiple times. So yeah, I can keep my water there. So yeah, this has been helping me out a lot. There are times where I decide to go to the gym and then there are times where I just want to use this. It, it helps out a lot. So yeah, I'm very thankful for it because I don't know what I would do without it. Uh, uh oh, I'm um, sorry. Um, yeah, um, I was on Peacock and I just watched a movie called um, Cannibal Holocaust, known to be one of the most controversial horror films ever made. And uh, let me just say, it was a bad idea watching this before dinner because now I am not going to be able to eat tonight. Uh, I've been just trying to watch some movies, horror films, that I haven't reviewed yet. And no, I am not reviewing this. No, I refuse, because... I... I've seen some pretty disturbing films, but... Wow. This just makes Saw look like, I don't know, like a kitty stage show play or something. Uh I don't I'm I'm out of words. just uh yeah I'm never watching that again. Never. So I just went to Walmart and I got this uh five bluey character pack. And funny thing, I have all these already. So why did I just double dip? Uh, well, it's simple, because I collect Bluey stuff. And I mostly got this just for Mackenzie. Even though, yes, I technically already have a Mackenzie plush, though. Looking at it, it actually looks quite different. I don't know what it is, but... Mackenzie is probably the, probably the hardest uh, Bluey plush toy to find. I just noticed that uh, his ear is sticking out a little bit more while his ear right here is like... Was that a mistake, actually? Because, uh, was, was it like popped out by accident? I don't, I don't know. But uh, obviously they do not have the tags, so... Yeah, but... They're pretty much just the same bluey plush toys. Um, I'm just gonna use a resemblance because... Uh, yeah, but I'd say it was actually a pretty good deal because uh, it's basically, it was 20 bucks, so it's uh, four Bluey plush toys, so they're like $5 a piece, so it's basically, you're basically getting all of them for five bucks each, so yeah, that's pretty cool, but yeah, I mostly got this for Mackenzie because Mackenzie is one of the hardest ones to find, and I bought this plush for like 50 bucks online so uh yeah if you wanted to get mckenzie just go to walmart and get the four pack but yeah but you know what it was totally worth it just in case because uh two mckenzie's is better than one and if i had to choose a favorite secondary bluey character or a bluey character that's not part of the healer family it would definitely be mckenzie i just love the little guy he's just i don't know i just feel like he's by far the most relatable because he has so many moments that i can just completely relate to so yeah, but yeah, totally worth it. Well, today is a pretty big day because Spy Family returns with another season. I would give you some peanuts on ya, but I am fresh out. Also, I'm not gonna watch it until the dubs start coming in uh, because I don't know. I've always I've always just preferred dub, so that way I won't have to like read the subtitles. Just yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm glad Anya and her family's, her sort of family's adventures are continuing. Alright, so uh, I went to Best Buy and I got Terrifier 2 on 4K. I've been meaning to get this. And Peacock actually has Terrifier 1, so I'll probably watch that. I might actually review it since I already reviewed Terrifier 2 and I, went, and I never watched the original Terrifier. Uh, because I heard it's not as good as this, but uh, yeah. Um, I'll probably watch it later tonight. 
I am just realizing now that the cover underneath is different. But you know what? That's something that I probably should have expected. All right, let me tell you something. I would absolutely love to do nothing and binge watch horror movies and review them for you guys. But the truth is, I just can't. I have to do, like, very little at a time. But it doesn't matter because I'm uploading this in the beginning of November or the... Yeah, beginning of November because, you know, I'm going to be giving out uh, candy to trick-or-treaters during Halloween. So I won't really have time to... But, but the point is, I am serious about this workout thing. Like, I have worked my ass off really hard at the gym and at home, so I'm just trying to lose as much weight as possible. Because if I stop now, it won't stay off forever, so... Yeah. But, chances are, it is going to be absolutely worth it. Which I'm sure it will. I spent an hour and a half in here. One of that, one of those hours, or the one hour, being just being on the elliptical the whole time. I've done that multiple times, actually. Though, like I said before, I burn off more calories when I'm at home on the bike. So, yeah, occasionally, I'll just spend my exercise days at home on the bike. Sometimes, I'll do a little bit of both here and on the bike. But either way, it's really been helping me a lot, and I've been starting to feel better. So, yeah, hopefully, I'll have more results in a couple more days. Also, I should really start wearing a jacket when I come over here, but I just don't want to get the jacket all sweaty. I don't like working out on long sleeves, but I'm pretty much going to have no choice because when November comes, it's probably going to be hella cold. Like, because that's when, you know, temperatures start dropping, so, yeah. It's Friday the 13th, and I don't really have anything planned. I could just watch another horror movie, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Because I'm usually free on the weekends, uh, but I have to work today. Uh, I know there's going to be a bunch of Swifties going to see that new Taylor Swift concert film. So, yeah, that's going to be a struggle to deal with, but, uh, yeah. And I don't really have any movies to see this weekend, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon comes out next week, and it's going to be an IMAX, so I'm definitely seeing it in IMAX. Uh, yeah, I only lost two pounds this week, uh, which is better than nothing, but I expected, I expected a bit more, but I'm, I'm still making progress, at least. Uh, yeah, I just pre-ordered, uh, Spider-Man 2, uh, it should, uh, come in next week on opening day, hopefully. Um, there's also Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but I think I'm gonna wait on that, because, uh, if I, if both of them came in at the same time, I would just... It's already been a hassle to deal with with all these games coming out. I, I never finished Starfield or Baldur's Gate 3. But, yeah. So, um, I put the bluey thing up, like, in the window. Just so everybody else can see it. It would probably look better at night. And, uh, if the, if the thing was, like, uh, if the blinds were up. But, we'll do that when it's closer to Halloween. But now, I am ready to carve a pumpkin. And yes, I know it's raining outside, so it's the perfect weather for carving pumpkins inside. Though I'm probably not going to bring it out here till the rain stops, which won't be till the night. Alright, I'm all set here. I got the pumpkin, I got the stencil, I got the carving kit, which the stencil came out of. I had to pop the things out. It was kind of hard to do, but yeah. I'm going to cut this thing open, and hopefully I won't screw up with this design. So I was trying to uh, find the right place for the stencil on the pumpkin, but I think uh, I think it was too big. Like I, I don't know. I I needed a much bigger pumpkin. Well, plus um, I tried using some other ones and they were also too big. So I printed out this bluey one. Yeah, no surprise. I'm doing a bluey one because that's pretty much my new thing now. So don't worry, I'm always going to be a movie reviewer and gamer, so... Yeah, the fact that I love this now, it's not going to change anything. I'm going to talk about that more. Uh, the only time I really talked about Bluey was during my collection. But anyways, anyways, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to, to carve out the pumpkin. So, uh, yeah, I am a little nervous, though, because I haven't carved a pumpkin in a really long time, and I remember struggling a bit carving some pumpkins but yeah I'm just I'm just gonna see all right so here's the stencil I'm gonna use I 
I was trying to find a much better stencil, but uh, yeah, this is the closest thing I could find. It was on Reddit, so yeah, I'm a little nervous doing this, but I'm gonna try it out. I've seen people succeed at this, but yeah. <sighs> See, there was a marker where I was trying to write it down, but yeah. Anyways, let's murder this pumpkin. Ugh, this is nasty. I remember just doing this a lot when I was a child and just like, oh man, just, I was just so uncomfortable with the smell of raw pumpkin, like, just, it's a shame because we never use it to make pumpkin pie or anything like that. We always just use the seeds to like, we usually cook them, so, it's kind of weird how we mostly just buy pumpkins just to carve them when we can just buy pumpkin pie already made. Uh, well, nowadays there are there are just pumpkins that you know people can just uh, where you can just keep them permanently and they'll never rot. I tried using one of those, but I screwed up really bad. But yeah, let's uh, let's continue. I can just probably dump some of these seeds out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of stressful. It'll look a lot better once I light it up. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. All right, I waited a day later to get the candles, and yeah, it looks a lot better now. Um, yeah, I can say, uh, for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out. All right, well, another game from Gamefly has come in. Uh, can you guess what it is? Uh, well, it's a fighting game, a very violent one. It's brand new and probably has the worst, the worst fighting game title of all time because it's not even the first game. Just like Battlefield 1, as that technically wasn't the... Yeah, it, it, it's Mortal Kombat 1. Technically, it's the 12th game, but I don't know. I think this is like a re-creature. I, I, I don't know. I, I I don't really know the whole Mortal Kombat timeline because I don't play it as much. But, yeah. I doubt this is going to top Street Fighter 6 in terms of the best fighting game of the year, but I'm still willing to give it a chance. Hopefully... I can get at least the main storyline finished before uh, Spider-Man 2 comes out because I know I'm going to be busy on that on that game for like at least a week. So I finished up the story for Mortal Kombat 1 uh, earlier this morning. That's honestly all that I really cared about. I mean, I, I did play like uh, the, the, the tower game or whatever, like like a couple of times, but uh if I'm, like, going to sit down and play, like, the other modes, I would probably have to buy the game. So, I probably would. I mean, it's a good game. I, 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 I've I I've had fun with it. Um, though, um, yeah, on this afternoon, I will be seeing uh, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Actually, I'm going to be seeing it in an hour, so, yeah. Also, I heard the unfortunate news that Best Buy wasn't going to be selling physical media anymore. So, this is probably my last year of going to Best Buy, because once they do get rid of physical media starting next year, I will have absolutely no reason to go to Best Buy anymore. Unless my TV breaks. Alright, I lost three more pounds this week, and in just less than two minutes ago, I got Spider-Man 2 in the mail, and I cannot wait to play it. Also, I should just point this out. You hear that? Yeah, I can't be the only one that uh, gets that problem where uh, when something arrives that's physical, the disc just bounces around in there like it's getting scratched up. That's why I <laughs> I really find it to be a shame that most stores are taking out physical media just due to the fact that don't, people don't get them as often as Amazon. I guess people just like when they're... When they're pieces of physical media arrive and the disc is falling out and it has you worried like because uh, especially when it's a game because the game's 70 bucks i mean i'm sure it'll still work it's just like this is why i'll always prefer buying uh physical media as store but of course i'll pretty much it's going to be one of those days where i'm just going to have no choice but to just get it from amazon so just got to hope for the best i guess all right just found my first glitch because Miles is just walking around, not moving his legs or his entire body. Just look at him. Just, he's just hovering. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Just... <laughs>
Yeah, he's completely cool with this. Yeah. Just... <laughs> completely normal. Uh, this guy's trying to ask a boy out. Oh, oh, this game's woke. Oh, cancel culture. Oh, cancel Spider-Man. Oh. Alright, so I'm seeing uh, the 60th anniversary re-release of The Birds. Really excited for this one. I actually haven't seen it in, like... This is the first time I watched it, which was like years ago. But uh, yeah, hopefully with this experience, it will be even better than I remember. Oh, and if you're wondering what that sound is, it's the movie screen. It's there's a, the screen says Fathom Event, and there's like a countdown. So yeah, there's nobody else here but me. So yeah, don't get the wrong idea. Okay, yeah. So the experience was absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, I was the only one at the show, so nobody got to experience with me. Oh well their loss but anyways i'm gonna be staying at my mom's house tonight but we ran by walmart and i just decided to screw it and i got super mario brothers wonder um though i'm not gonna play it until i have finished or at least beaten the main story for spider-man 2 uh but yeah there were like 20 more than 20 copies of this game at walmart because i remember when there was a time where when a new game came out uh, it would be, like, uh, really hard to find. Like, Walmart would just have no copies. Like, you know, I'm having that, you know, just like that experience I had with Metroid Prime Remastered. Who's that handsome boy? Who's that handsome nectar boy? Who's that handsome little nectar boy? Who is that handsome nectar boy? I should also give you an update on little Leela. Here she is. As you notice, um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but her eye is all stitched up because they had to remove it because uh, she couldn't see out of it. But uh, yeah, those stitches are going to be in for like three weeks or so. Look at her just looking out the window. So yeah, but other than that, she's healing fine. And I think it's safe to say that uh, she is now a member of our family. So yeah. What do you say to that, Leela? Leela. Lila, stop bird watching. You can only see through one eye, so. And all of a sudden, it feels like I'm in a Dark Souls area. I'm not even joking about that. Hello? So I managed to beat the main story for Spider-Man 2 uh, earlier today. Um, I just started playing uh, Mario Bros. Wonder uh, tonight. I'm already like an hour in. Having so much fun with it right now. Elephant Mario honestly exceeded my expectations. He has so much fun to play as, so... Yeah, I'm um, really, really having a good time with it so far. All right, uh, I lost uh, three more pounds. Now I'm about to head out to see Five Nights at Freddy's, and I haven't been hearing the best things about it. And uh, for and uh, I, I haven't, I haven't played any of the games. So chances are I'm probably not gonna leave the theater like super satisfied because I, I well, I don't know. I'll. I'll just have to see what happens. So yeah, I didn't really like Five Nights at Freddy's all that much. Um, though I didn't hate everything about it. it, it if, you, if you've seen my review, you know exactly what I mean. And I did check the Rotten Tomatoes score for audiences. It is way higher than the critic score. Like, way higher. So needless to say, it did succeed at pleasing fans. So if that's what the movie was trying to do, then it mostly did succeed so yeah good good for them so at least they did manage to succeed at something and there's no denying that it will like it made like 10 million thursday night so uh yeah chances are it's definitely gonna take the top spot at the box office this weekend so there you go so um just found out that matthew perry uh just passed away um i never really watched friends all that much but my mom was a is a huge fan of Friends, so that might be upsetting for her. But I do know that um, he did have a role in Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, New Vegas. So, yeah, and I have played New Vegas. So, yeah, that's uh, very unfortunate. So, may you rest in peace. So, yeah. So I'm trying to untie these balloons because they've been up for like a month. I am shocked that they're not completely deflated though, except for the big bluey. The big bluey is, well, I'll show it in a minute, but uh, apparently 
they can still go up in the sky. <laughs> yep. Uh, just look at Bluey and Bingo just chilling up in the sky. So, yeah, pretty much they're in a balloon, so now they are the game of Keepy Uppy. As for the one that completely looks like Bluey, she's, uh, she's in here. <laughs> yeah, she just, like, it's like, it's like a murder crime or something. Yeah, but that's kind of cruel to say, but, yeah, I'm just waiting till it's like, like, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna, like, I don't know, because I don't want to ruin these, you know, but, I don't know, I'll, I'll find a way to get them in something, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put them, but. Also, there's a decorative thing for my, uh, for my windows for Christmas. Alright, well, I just beat Super Mario Bros. Wonder, um, had a really fun time with it. Um, I really wish there were more bosses rather than just fighting Bowser Jr. over and over again, but, uh, other than that, it's, it's a really fun game, and, uh, I was worried this would be, like, similar to, like, the new Super Mario Bros. games, like the new Super Mario Bros. uh, series, you know, like the one for the DS and the Wii and the Wii U, uh, but, yeah, it's far different than that, uh, but, yeah, yeah, a really fun one, I recommend it. Anyways, Halloween is tomorrow, and I'm going to be passing out these. These are the gummies. I got, uh, well, not really gummies. They're more like fruit snacks. I've been, I put a note on them because my roommate keeps eating them. But, uh, yeah, I got like four boxes just in case. I'll be passing them out. And uh, in this, it's a uh, pretty decent enough size. Uh, yeah, all of them will pretty much be able to fit in there. I'll be taking those ornaments out, but... Yeah, I'm all set for Halloween, uh, after I get off work at least. It's a shame that I have to go to work because I could have watched horror movies while I was waiting for the night time, but... Oh well, uh, work is important. I'm about to head out so I can have my door locked. Let me, hold on. Yeah, that way nobody can get them. Alright, so I got my costume. I got the... Um, the gummies, this isn't all of them, I actually have way more, um, than I needed, but just in case, I still got those two extra boxes. Actually, this only fills up, like, uh, uh, one and a half boxes, so, yeah. Um, it's raining, but the rain should be clearing up, uh, later this afternoon, so, yeah, hopefully things will go according to plan. Uh, yes, it is definitely, uh, feeling like it usually would on Halloween, just leaves everywhere, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, the rain should stop eventually. I mean, I, I usually like the rain, but I don't want trick-or-treating to get rained out, but then again, I did go trick-or-treating, uh, when I was younger. It was raining once, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, it won't be a problem, even if it does continue to rain. Probably should have waited like uh, like maybe a week before carving this because this has been two weeks. But uh, oh well, it's uh, better than nothing. Well, it's that time where I end the vlog. Oof. Oh man, we've gotten so many trick or treaters over here. So yeah, I mean this is a pretty busy neighborhood. So yeah, but anyways, hope you guys have a great Halloween. Uh, yeah, I'm just I've just been giving out candy. Uh, nothing more. To that because you know I'm a grown man now so yeah but having a fun time nonetheless but yeah anyways uh yeah let's see what's happening uh next month as Thanksgiving's coming around although there's gonna be a lot of talk of Christmas because it's common to celebrate the holidays early but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later word out that was just a phone word out